Hey guys, welcome to part three of building a WordPress widget. In this part, we're going to create our backend form and also our default values. Okay, so basically if, if our options table doesn't have values for things like our page URL, our height, width, then we need to, we need to set them somewhere and this is where we're gonna set them. All right, and you can see in a, in a default an example of this with the title. Okay, so basically we're saying if the instance is set of t for title, so basically if it is in the database, then title is gonna be set to that. If it's not, then we're gonna set it to, and then we had just have a static text here. All right, the double underscore parentheses is just for language strings. Okay, so let me put this on one line. All right, so right here we can actually enter a title, and I'm just going to say like us on Facebook. Okay, so basically I can just copy this, and we're going to say if set instance page URL, then we'll set page URL to instance page URL except I want to wrap this in that um, ESC ATTR function okay and if it's not okay so if it's not in the database if it's not set then I'm just going to I'm just going to do the default um, URL that they give you here. Okay. So I'll just copy this again and next we'll do the width. So for the default width, um, I'm going to do 250. So width equals get instance of width. Do height. Sorry about that. Okay, um, next we'll do color. Actually, we want to set the default height. I'm going to set it to 500. And color. Okay, so for the color, let's just check out the values. Uh, I'm going to use Chrome tools just to see here. Um, looks like I think it's light and dark. Looks like. Let me generate, actually, let me generate the code. Uh, color, yeah, okay, so data color scheme equals light, so the other one must be dark. All right, so by default, we'll set the color to light. All right, so let's see, after color, let's do, um, whoa. Okay, so we'll do uh, show faces. OK, 
Okay, and the default for this, let's set this to true. All right, and we got show header. Okay, that'll be true as well. And show posts. And then finally, show border. Uh, actually, show posts, I'm going to set to false. And let's, we actually shouldn't have uh, quotes around these. They're Boolean values, they're not strings. All right, so that takes care of our default values. So now we need to actually display them using this form. All right, so you can see that by default, this, this um, code that we copied has the input for title. Okay, so basically we need to um, replicate this. Let me just make this a little easier to read. All right, so basically we have a class for of wide fat. We have an ID, which is we're setting it to this get field ID, uh, and then passing in the name of the field, which is title. And then here the name is we're doing get field name, title, and then here the value we're actually echoing out title and wrapping it in this um, security function. So basically we want to do this for all of our fields. Okay, so we can copy this. Okay, so this will be page URL. Next will be color. Oh, now this is going to be a little different because this is a select color. It's going to be a select between light and dark. So this is going to be different. We want to change the input to a select. Uh, and then select. We need a closing tag for that. And let's see, class will be wide fat ID we'll get the ID for color and this needs to be color as well and did I miss something up here oh page URL this is just the label so color okay so the select has the same class ID name and then let's see type I'm gonna just leave type at text for now um, and then value uh, we're not gonna have a value this is a select list so we're gonna have options let me just think I should just uh, and get rid of that okay so now in between the select tags we want our options so option value is gonna be light all right value will be light and light
dark. Now, one thing with this, um, if we go ahead and save our widget, all right, and then we go back in, we want whatever the color scheme is to be selected. All right, so if it's set to dark, if that's what it is in the database, then we, we want it to, to, we want dark to be pre-selected. All right, so in order to do that, we just have to do a, um, a quick if statement and we'll do the shorthand. All right, um, obviously if you know HTML, then you know if you put the word selected right here, light is gonna be the one that's selected. So we would just wanna say if the color is light, then display selected. All right, and then here we'll do if the color is dark, display selected. Okay, so right here, we're going to say PHP, um, echo, and then in parentheses, we'll say if color is equal to light. Okay, color is equal to light, and then we just want a question mark. Um, and then the text in quotes selected. Okay, and then a colon, and then if it's not light, then we just want a blank nothing, just two quotes. And I think that should do that. That should do it for us. Okay, and now for dark, we just want to copy this, put this right here, and change this to dark. All right, so that should work. Okay, so next we have the width field. So the width is gonna be an input, so I'm gonna copy this. And it can get quite tedious when you have this many fields. And I realize I could just copy and paste all this in, but um, you gotta write it, so figure I'll write it with you. Okay, width. Next we'll do height. Height, um, show faces is going to be a select. Alright, now this we have the same issue here. We need to do uh, these checks and we want to put selected for whatever is saved in the database. Uh, the value here is going to be true and false. Okay, and then we just want to check show faces uh, if it's equal to true. equal to false and then we just want to change this text all right and now show header I'm just going to copy this Better. OK, 
Okay. And we got show posts. And finally, we have show border. I know that was a lot of typing. All right, so that should do it for our fields here. So let's actually save this and see if it shows up in our back end. Okay, so we have the like box, it's activated. If it doesn't say, if it says activate here, just click it, make it so it says deactivate. And then we're gonna go to appearance, widgets, and don't see it. It should be showing up here. Um, widget form. And I see the issue here is, you probably saw this a long time ago. Uh, right here I have widgets init, but it's spelled very wrong. Uh, so we're just gonna change this. Okay, so that should be widgets init, widget, all right, save that, and now we'll go ahead and reload, and now you can see we have our like box, okay, so if we click on that, I'm going to bring this over to the main sidebar, and there is all our fields, and it has, they have all the default values, all right, uh, show header, show posts, Except, you know what, these are not right. The faces should be true, header should be true, post should be false. Um, and I think the issue here is this, we have our default values here. These should be wrapped in quotes. Okay, the true, false, true. Okay, we'll save that. Now if we reload. All right, so now face is true. All right, so now it's correct. So everything looks good. Uh, the only thing we have to do now is create the update function uh, so that we can change this and save and have it be displayed. So let's see if it actually shows up on our front end. Okay, so it's not showing up yet. I'm guessing it has something to do with the update function. So we're going to do that in the next part.